Welcome everyone, I'd like to show you how to easily browse the internet on your Nintendo Switch. So obviously, we can connect to uh, our Wi-Fi networks on our Switch, but we can only use this to play online games. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you a 100% working method, doesn't matter when you're watching, on how to access any website you want on Nintendo Switch, essentially browse the web. So first of all, what you want to do is just open up system settings. Then you want to scroll down until you see internet internet settings and what we want to do is we want to make sure first of all we are already connected to a wi-fi network so if you haven't done this connect and once you've connected tap on the wi-fi network you've connected to you can see by the tick that's the wi-fi you're on so we'll tap on this and then we're going to tap on change settings and we're going to scroll down until we see dns settings we're going to tap on this and we're going to set it to manual and once we've done this, we want to set the primary DNS to the address you see on screen. So for you, the primary DNS will be set to 000.000.000.000. Oh my god, that was a tongue twister. But just set the DNS to what you see on screen right now. So just pause the video, screenshot the video on your phone, and then just type this in your, on your uh, Nintendo Switch. So pause video, screenshot it. And once you've done this, just tap on OK save okay and then tap on connect to this network now what you're going to see is it's going to do its thing and you're going to see it's not going to be able to outright connect to the internet because we need to register so we're going to tap on next and here's where the magic happens so the old way to connect to the internet and browse google um was to go on the switch's website through the store and then navigate around until you found facebook and then through facebook you'd find google and then through Google, then you could access the web. However, now it's very easy because you can see Switch Brew DNS. That's the server we connect to. We're going to tap on continue to Google. <laughs> now on Google, how cool is that? Now, if you just tap on back, uh, let me just go back again. You can see you can go to the news right here. And this is the news from Google News. Or you can enter URL directly. Uh, we'll just tap on Google. And I mean, if you want to... Uh, do the search queries here. It's probably uh, your best bet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search up um, my name. So Alf Saunders. So Saunders. I'll tap on done. Google search. And let's have a look. So we have to verify we're not a robot. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's do this together. Now keep on watching because I'm going to show you how to revert this because if you... If we just go off and do this, you're not going to be able to connect to the internet anymore. So just keep that in mind. So we're going to be able to play online games. So we'll just tap on these buses right here. So bus, bus. Oh, it's doing this horribly slow transition. Jesus. Okay. Don't tell me there's another bus. All right. Verify. Okay. Right. Let's try this again. Apparently, I'm a robot. It, it's kind of crazy. I am a robot. And so, uh, I apologize. Right. There is no fire hydrant. There we go. Now we can go on Google search. You can see, yes, yeah, showing up the Google results. And what you can do, which is really cool, is they've already thought about, you know, making this a proper browser. So you can use your thumbstick in order to control your mouse pointer. And you can see, OK is essentially a left click. So if I left click here and click on this, it's now going to bring me to Twitter. X will end the session, so we'll close out the browser. And B will go back a page, right? So if I'm on Twitter and I tap B, it's going to bring me back to the Google search. So you can see this is my Twitter account. If you want to follow me, that would be very appreciated. So we'll just see. And also, if you bring your things near to the bottom, you can see it can scroll down. And yeah, I mean, everything's fully working, right? Now, look, the fonts are a bit glitchy. So you can see the font. I was using a custom font. But overall... While it is a bit laggy overall, you can see everything's working great, right? So, you know, if you want to, you can use Twitter on your Nintendo Switch. You can see all the images load. If I click on the image, you can see a bit slow, but it will load. So, there we go. The image loads. Shout out to that. And, uh, yeah, this is honestly actually pretty darn cool in my opinion. So, let's actually fix this. Let's go back to normal Switch mode so we can actually... Play online games so we'll tap on x and then we'll tap on ok and this is going to close us out with the internet and then once we've done this i'm just going to wait for other networks to show up 
we're going to tap on our network, change settings, and then we're going to set the DNS settings back to automatic, save, OK, and then connect to this network. So whenever you want to connect back to the internet in the future, all you need to do is very simple. You just tap on manual DNS, and then it will already have the DNS server you need custom already saved, which is really cool. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to smash like, subscribe if you're brand new. See you guys later. Bye-bye.